team 12 and a half news with anchorman John Bino, anchorwoman Susan Steckloff, Sam Plameri on weather, Amy Godala on sports, and Del Rivers with the high tech report. Here's John Bino. In entertainment news, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame has decided to build yet another pyramid to house the large number of one hit wonders that have been cluttering up the airwaves since the 1970s. These nearly forgotten artists shall be remembered, even though most are dead from overdoses and suicide. The few remaining one-hit artists, most of whom hold civil service jobs, are expected to get time off to accept their Hall of Fame honors by applying for celebrity leave, a program similar to paternity leave. Also, the rock group Styx had entered the Hall of Fame this year. They were promptly escorted out by security. And now to Susan Steckloff with the headlines. What the, what the heck are you doing in my bathroom? This isn't your bathroom. This is a newsroom, and you're on. No, no, no. This is my house, my private space. Get out of here. Just give us the headlines, please. Get out, get out. All right. The producers are sick of you always being late for the newscast, so we would move the news desk to your bathroom. Well, I knew you wanted to speak about satellite, Susan. Most Americans continue to watch the three non-cable TV channels, even though they're paid for cable or satellite dishes. For years, we have been told that cable is better than dishes, yet it has been revealed that cable providers are receiving their signals from dishes. And now to Susan. Well, that's why those creepy guys are peering through my bathroom window. Get out of here! Ah, uh, listen, I'm not going to get out, and let's go to St. Palmary for the weather. It's freaking hot, and... Wait a minute, where's my news? Check in your bathrobe, not Amy Godala, fire done sports. <laughs> Huge news for the girls field hockey team. Finally, new uniforms, and what a triumph they are. While they pay homage to the traditional plaid, they add a line of chiffon ruffles down the front and a smattering of sequins on the shoulder that has the most tremendously exciting effect. When the girls are standing perfectly still, it looks like they're floating in a gentle breeze. Did they win? Oh, these uniforms are a total win. What about the score of the game? Oh, I didn't stay till the end of the game. Sam, did you get the score? No, I didn't, but I saw the uniforms, and they're freaking hot. Amy, what about football? Oh, I went to the football game. <coughs> Same old uniforms. What do you have, Susan? Get out, get out of my house! No, the computer guy, what do you got? Oh, well, I tell you, like Monty Python, I am loaded with spam. My computer is just going haywire, I tell you. You've got yeah. computer problems? I've got computer problems. I fell for all those ads that keep popping up. You know, I got, now I got a drawer full of phony Rolexes that don't keep time. I got a bunch of mortgage payments and enough Viagra and Cialis to feed, freaking feed, uh, I don't know, Sodom and Gomorrah. Any high tech advice? Yes. Quit using email. Go back to snail mail. It's better. What's the weather going to be like tomorrow, Sam? I was going to say freaking hot, but I haven't stuck my head out the window yet to check that out. Uh, however, the quadruple, triple, double Doppler radar man has told me that it will be cloudy tomorrow with a chance of extreme cloudiness. That's all from News Team 12 and a half. See you when our contracts get renewed. Uh, 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 hey, that was supposed to be my line. I'm the announcer.